So welcome, this is the exciting first episode of Chat 2. I'm joined and would like to welcome Jez. A little bit of spit came out there, not because I'm overexcited, uh, just because it sometimes happens. His name's Jez, or Jerry, and he's a lovely man. We're technically friends. And I'm going to hit him with three questions. So are you ready, Jerry? Hello, Timmy. Nice to hear from you, my friend. Genuine uh, human acquaintance and a notable uh, earthling. Hey, first question, Jerry. What animal would you like to be eaten alive by and why? What would I like to be eaten by most? Uh, a, um, a giant, um, a blue whale, blue whale, because it might not even hurt. Just a, one swallow and then I'm... <clears throat> into the belly, and I might just survive that. Best moment during lockdown with a child? Question uh, two. Uh, obviously, being forced to pretend to be uh, a guinea pig by Francis and crawling around on the floor with a furry blanket over my head and eating out of her hand, making little uh, guinea pig noises for about five hours. Last question, I know you're a guy that likes to shop. Keep his larder stocked and in order. So, top three shopping items with a budget under 10 pounds. Thank you very much. Three items uh, under 10 pounds um, for my fridge, uh, cheese. Uh, strong cheddar, uh, beer, a bottle of Thirsty Ferret, and maybe some tennis balls if there's enough money because I'm dying to play again as soon as I'm allowed. It's an absolute delight speaking with you. Um, I was listening the whole way through, I'm not eating. Pleasure as always. Thank you for coming in and answering a few questions. Happy lockdown. Bye, love. Love ya. An absolute pleasure talking to you, as always, my friend. Um, a question for you. What has been your favourite conspiracy theory vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the COVID-19 uh, so far? Actually, I'm glad you asked that, Jerry, because my... D don't tell anyone... But my dad's actually got quite a high up friend in the um, upper echelons of um, Interflora. And he said that uh, potentially it's a lot of out of date Serbian daffodils. So 